I started playing guitar when I was about 13 years old. In the various bands that I've been in, most of the time I've played bass guitar. I haven't played guitar for a, quite a while, but a few months ago I really felt that I wanted to get back to playing music again. I've always been an analog music guy, and synthesizers certainly have their place, but they've never really appealed to me. I've always thought that the piano is a wonderful instrument for songwriting and composing music, but the prospect of having to move an upright piano just does not appeal to me at all. So I started uh, looking into buying a Rhodes piano. Uh, for those that don't know, a Rhodes piano is a keyboard, um, but it's a little bit like an electric guitar and that when you press on a key, a hammer comes up and strikes a metal tine, which vibrates in front of a pickup. So it needs to be amplified like an electric guitar. After a lot of searching around on Craigslist, all over the United States really, I ended up finding a 1983 Rhodes Mark II stage piano locally here in Iowa. Initially, I really had my heart set on buying a Mark I but I was having a lot of difficulty finding a Mark I where people weren't asking a stupid amount of money for it. The Mark II I found uh, was in decent shape. It does need a little TLC. It didn't come with the original legs and crossbars or the sustain pedal assembly. The Tolex was a little gouged and peeling in places, but the keys were in really good shape. Uh, there was a bit of buzzing out of an A flat uh, higher up on the keyboard, but I figured this could be fixed pretty easily. So I negotiated with the guy and ended up paying $600 for this Rhodes Mark II. At the time this video was recorded in May of 2022, $600 was about a quarter to a fifth of the price that I was finding listed on the internet. You can see in the video that the Tolex looks okay. The faceplate is unscratched and pretty clean and the keys are clean, level, and evenly spaced. The damper felts are going to need to be replaced. I think this piano sat unused for a really long time, and there's a groove smashed into the damper felts, and this causes the notes to buzz as you release the piano keys because there really isn't any loft left in the felts to dampen the vibrating tines. I found that the buzzing A flat was from one of the tone bars sitting crooked in the harp and it was vibrating against one of the internal harp support bars, plus the front screw on the tone bar was loose. But when I tightened it down, I saw that the tone bar would shift around and the screw uh, might be bent, which makes voicing the tone bar more difficult. So I went to the Vintage Vibe website and ordered replacement legs and crossbars along with the replacement tone bar screws and grommets. The sustain pedal assembly was out of stock at Vintage Vibe right now, so I'll have to pick that up later. I'm still keeping my eyes open for a Mark I, and if I find one at a good price, I may sell this Mark II and buy the Mark I. I like the look of the Mark I with its dome top, plus the keys are made out of wood where the 1993 Mark II keys were changed and are made of uh, black plastic. Once I have this Rhodes restored back to good playing shape, I'm planning to take piano lessons, probably the fall of 2022. I've already reached out to some of the local musicians about signing up for lessons. Well, that's it for the first video. Thanks for watching and please like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell to follow my adventures in pianoing. See you next time.